Hey, I'm Alice Merton, and you are watching Muzo TV. How does it feel to have a hit single just at the beginning of your career? It's exciting. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, it's opened a lot of doors, which is very, very cool. I feel honored that I get to play in different countries. I've never been to Poland before, so this is my first time. Um, and I never thought, like, if someone were to ask me a year ago, do you think you're going to be playing in Poland and, like, it might sell out? I'd be like, no, but uh, it's it's amazing. But as far as journeys go, uh, well, you've got your experience. Um, how many countries have you lived in so far? I've lived in, I think it's just four countries. I mean, five, I mean, half of my family lives in Ireland, so I spend some time in Ireland. Um, but yeah, mainly four, Canada, US, Germany, England. Mm -hmm. Which one is the best? Which one has got the best vibe, in your opinion? That's <laughs> difficult. That's difficult. That's tricky. Every country is different. I love being in Germany. They have a lot of advantages, um, especially in the social social system. Um, but Canada was great growing up. I mean, it was just a great childhood. Uh i love England, though, where we live like really near the, the coast, which is beautiful. The beaches are beautiful. So it's a difficult question. I don't think I can pick one, one place. Uh, currently, you live in Berlin, yes? Yes. How If I'm at home. I'm, I'm not really at home that much. Uh -huh. Well, in, in your case, not being at home means something good because you're touring. Exactly, yeah. 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 Uh, I feel like you've got all that experience of living in different countries and now you can benefit from it. Yeah. Because you're just accustomed to traveling. Actually, it did help me a lot. Like, if I hadn't had that nomadic lifestyle... I would find touring very tiring and I'd, I'd probably be homesick a lot. I'd be like, I miss my dog. I miss my cat. I don't actually have a cat. But um, yeah, I would be much more like attached to things. And this way I just, I love meeting new people. I love uh, seeing new places. So like it's cool. Every day is a new adventure. Every day is a new adventure. Yeah. So I got used to it quite young. Mm -hmm. uh, what has been the biggest surprise so far as you're uh, performing and you, you've already performed uh, in a few different countries and uh, you've played uh, some TV shows and so on. Was there something that surprised you? Really? Like experience-wise or yes, just playing-wise? Yes, experience-wise. I mean, once we had a backstage that was, um, it was a festival and it was a changing room, So it was like a sports changing room. And we went into the backstage and there was a naked man getting undressed into his sports clothes. That was weird. That surprised me. Um, what else? Just the fact that people sing my song a lot. Like if I'm playing it at a festival, like if I'm playing No Roots, it's cool that they can, they know the lyrics. They know how, like what the words are and they'll just sing it back. So that's been a pleasant surprise. Um, What other surprises has there been? I like sometimes that when, when we visit radio stations, they'll give us free things. So like free bags or stickers. I like that too. That's fun. You need to visit us next time. Yeah. When you've Will got I get a more free bag? Time. Everything. Yes. Everything you need. I don't mind. We're going to have a set prepared for you. That would be waiting great. Waiting for you. Just, I, you know just what? let us know. I would come as soon as possible. Okay, so we might uh, fix the date. That would be very, amazing. Very, very soon. We're waiting for you. Okay. But as far as uh, the song you mentioned uh, goes, uh, No Roots is a hit single known in many parts of the world. People all over the world know the song. Uh, it's already a hit single. Uh, was it a surprise for you when it became a, a, a smashing hit? Or was it like, okay, something I've been expecting? I did not expect this at all, to be honest. Especially, it was the first single. And I don't think any artist thinks that a, the first single they release is going to go, like, become huge. Um, so it was a huge shock for me. But it was really, it was also fun to watch because it wasn't, it wasn't one of those things that just from zero to 100 goes like, bam, it's a hit. It was really a gradual process. Um, like we, we watched it get bigger on, on the blogs and on Hype Machine, then on Spotify went global viral. Then we were just watching the numbers on, on SoundCloud. It was becoming bigger because we released it as a free download first. 
um, and that's when we saw that a lot of blogs were blogging about it, and um, it was the, it was a growth that was very organic and very natural. Um, and then some somehow it just kept on getting bigger and bigger, and we got really lucky uh, to be able to work with teams in different countries uh, that wanted to promote the music. So I'm thankful for for each team that we have, whether it's in Poland or in France or in uh, Italy. They've just been doing a great job, and it's also thanks to them. Because a lot of songs out there, they're great songs, but if they're signed to a big label, there's a lot of people in these labels who don't... They work a song for two weeks or one week, and they're like, ah, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Move on to the next one. And with us, we really had a dedicated team that said, you know what, we're going to focus on really trying to make this big. We're going to really dedicate our time to it and not just sign you and a hundred other artists. We're going to really work this and, and uh, we've been very lucky. I have to admit it turned out great for you. <laughs> we got, we got really lucky and uh, I'm still amazed at people's reactions to the music and people wanting to sing it. So it's, it's really cool. Uh, people are curious and often ask uh, what the story behind that song is. It's basically my life story. Uh, that's the only reason I wrote it. I wanted to introduce myself um, in a musical sp perspective. And it talks about the fact that I've moved around 12 times. I've lived in four different countries. Um, and I just, at some point, I didn't know where my home was. I felt lost. And that's what inspired the song. But when I wrote it, I wanted it to be very uplifting. I wanted it to be upbeat and just fun to sing rather than looking back on it and singing it and just being sad. So that was very important to me. So uh, despite being lost, you might be happy as far as the rhythm goes. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like taking serious topics, serious and emotional topics, but giving them a fun, happy, up, outgoing, upbeat twist. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay, somebody might uh, want to write a hit single uh, and thinks, how to do it? Can you get a, a tutorial? How to write a hit song? There tell me, no tell me recipe. more about writing no roots. There is no recipe for writing a song no. that works well. I don't think so. I think, I mean, yeah, there's these people who write these pop songs that, I mean, if certain melodies work well, they know that certain chords changes. But if I'm completely honest, just be honest with your music. Write something that really truly actually means something to you um that's what i did and i mean maybe if i if i took another song from someone else and said ah i think it's a poppy melody has cool chords it's uplifting it wouldn't be me i mean sure you can do that and it might work but that's not how i think it would work and i think you can't forget as an artist you're touring with that song the whole time so if you're not happy with it you're not really having much fun. And I love showing people No Roots, I love playing it. So just write honest things. And uh, you don't get tired. I don't, <laughs> I don't get, to, I do get tired very often. Well, while singing that song. Because I see, so, while singing Some artists song. say after a few no. years of having a hit single and playing, uh, playing it uh, at every gig, no, I can't do it anymore. Not that song again. No, I don't get tired of the song because I, it's, it's part of me. If it wasn't part of me, yes, I would be like, I'm not doing this anymore. But it's part of me. And I, I don't mind showing people a part of me. Mm -hmm. Was it your childhood dream to become a musician? Yes, but not a uh, pop musician. I never thought I'd become a pop musician. Uh -huh. I, was, I was classically trained and I loved opera. I loved classical music. I wanted to become a pianist when I was younger. Um, but yeah, no, uh, it's, I realized at some point that I love creating my own music. Um, also, when I was playing like pieces by Chopin, Beethoven, Bach, I always changed certain things and my teacher would be like, you're playing it wrong. I'm like, but it sounds better this way. She's like, you're playing it wrong. <laughs> and uh, I think that's when I should have realized that I am much better creating my own thing. At least no one will come and tell you you're doing no one, anything yeah, exactly. wrong. No one can be like, you're doing it wrong. I can be like, <laughs> no, I'm not. Because I My can. My song. Because I can. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a good feeling. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Great. Anna.